News out today that the UK annual inflation rate slowed to 0.5% in December of last year. It is the lowest rate since May of 2000. Joining me to look at the data is Chief Economist with EEF, Lee Hopley. Thanks for joining me today, Lee. So let's look to the UK December inflation rate falling to 0.5%. What is your initial reaction to this result? I think our initial surprise, uh, reaction wasn't one of surprise. Um, we've seen the, um, the oil price um, really on a sharp downward trajectory for some time uh, and I think it was widely anticipated that this would feed through to UK inflation and bring uh, the headline measure um, well in below the 2% target in, in December. So I don't think that 0.5% uh, reading was, should have been a surprise to anyone. Now, you've just mentioned plunging oil costs as a major part of driving the sharp slowdown in UK inflation. What other factors can we attribute to the plunge? Um, well, clearly the oil price was the element that was widely expected to have that big downward pressure um, on inflation in December, but clearly it wasn't the only factor at play. Um, I think we've also seen the effects of some heavy discounting in December, particularly amongst um, food retailers. Um, so we saw some falls there as well. Um, I think if we strip out some of those erratic um, variables within the inflation rate, um, the underlying picture actually looks a bit more a bit more stable. Uh, and we were looking at um, CPI excluding those measures um, just above the 1% mark. Chancellor of the Exchequer George Osborne claims that the tumble in inflation is proof that his long-term economic plan is working. Would you agree? I think on this occasion that might be a little bit of a stretch. Um, clearly we've seen some decent economic numbers coming out of the UK over the last year to 18 months. Um, I think the, um, the, the fall in inflation uh, can largely be attributed to factors that the UK is importing, um, such as what's happening in international uh, oil markets, for example. Uh, there will clearly be some upsides to this. Obviously, if households are feeling the benefit from these falling prices of ultimately essential items um, at the end of the week and it gives them a bit more disposable income, then you know that should ultimately be quite good for consumer spending. But ultimately, the UK's long-term economic plan needs to be a bit more than boosting consumer spending. We've still got a big job to do on improving the UK's export performance, even though parts of the world are looking a bit challenging for UK exporters, and also to make sure that um, the private sector is in investing and committed um, to growing in, in the UK. So jobs certainly not done on the basis of these inflation numbers. Thanks, Lee. Great to speak with you. That's all from me for now, but do keep clicking back to the Dukas Guppy TV website for regular updates and exclusive interviews.